and welcome to Craft for Business. We'll take a look at how Craft takes the work of creating interesting and creative documents and makes it simple and fast. Let's start off by making a software engineering handbook. A handbook is an important tool for many companies, as it provides a place to store everything needed for team members to succeed. It should be in-depth, but easy to search through and navigate between sections. This job is Sam's responsibility, but thankfully members of his team have helped with a few definitions of terms that they use in their daily stand-up. Let's start with the term ready to do. Let's take some of the copy from the daily note here and flesh it out a bit more. With lots of terms in the workplace, context is going to be everything here. So I'll add them beneath, making the context titles bold and highlight them to make it really stand out, but sit in line with the rest of the text. We'll also add a line space between each block of text to make it a bit more readable. There's a lot of text here after all. That's great, but we've got a way to go yet. Let's finish off the definitions. I think we might have a bit too much text here. This is becoming a really long document. We can see exactly how much by going to the page info panel and look at the word count and also the reading time. This is an important document for the team to read, but I want to make it a little less heavy and easier to navigate. I could put each definition into a toggle list by selecting the titles, then if I use the Control Shift and 7 shortcut, I'll turn them all into toggles. I can select the rest of the blocks that relate to this definition by holding Shift, clicking on the first, and then clicking on the last. Now just hit the tab key to indent those blocks and they become part of the definition. This is shorter, but definitely still a bit heavy when it's opened up. Let's turn these into pages instead. I can use Ctrl and Z to undo the last few actions, and then use Shift and Click to select the contents of a definition, and then Ctrl and G to group it all. That's much better. I'm just going to make the heading for definition stand out a bit more by placing it in a block using the forward slash command. Let's do another section using the same styling as before. Here I'm going to use a block decoration a numbered list here. On some of the longer documents I'm going to place some separators. Oh, and just here for an important quote I'll use a focus block using the forward slash menu. I'll add another focus decoration on this side note using control, shift and backslash. And we'll do the same for this entire section, adding gradient highlights throughout documents to help with readers flow. So far this is looking good, I just want to make it a bit more welcoming. We're going to add a cover image by going to Page Style, toggling on Cover Image and selecting one from Unsplash. I want to really make this enjoyable to view and make team members want to read this handbook, so I'll add a background too, by going to Image here and choosing another image from Unsplash. Let's follow on from this by making a final section for people and culture in the engineering team. We're going to add cards instead of pages to add a more relaxed feeling to the section. I'll start with what is meant by a product engineer and use the forward slash menu to make it a card. Let's choose a background photo for it too. Now, inside the card we'll carry on as we did before, but this time I want to link to some earlier content. I'm going to highlight this piece of text, go to the at symbol and type our values and click on this page from our employee handbook. Now readers can easily switch between this page and another to gain more context, without it having to be explicitly written here. I can also link to external content too, adding infinite levels of context to any piece of writing. On first principle, I'll link out to a Medium article. Perfect, I'll finish off the rest of this text just like before. Now at the bottom, we'll add some further reading from a few other online articles. Let's make this a subtitle and drop in a link. When you put a link on its own into Craft, it is immediately turned into this block. You can go to the style menu and change the layout style to be smaller or even a card. I'm going to keep this the normal size and put two more beneath it. Okay, let's come out of there and into the handbook again. I'll make another card, this time with the shortcut Ctrl, Shift and L and call this one recommended reading. Here we'll add even more external links and order them into sections for articles, podcasts and more. With that done, we'll add one more card for the engineering leadership team. Let's add a short intro about the leadership team and make a new card for our first team member, Peter Smith, Chief Technology Officer. 
Inside the card I'm going to add Peter's photo and an info sheet. To do this I'm going to make a table by going to the insert menu and selecting the size of my table there. I'll add the categories in bold here, going to the row below with the enter key and the arrow keys to navigate to the next column. When I hover over the divider here I can change the size of the column to make it look neater and by selecting the top left cell and then the bottom left I can go to the style menu and change the cell fill colour here. Let's put a separator here and add a short intro for Peter. I can use some emojis here to make Peter feel a bit more welcoming. On a Windows computer use the Windows logo key and period to get the emoji screen. On Mac it's command control spacebar. Let's go back to the leadership team document. I'll select Peter's and use Control D to duplicate the card five times. Now I'll just update each of those. Okay, I think that's looking really nice. Let's jump back and look at the whole handbook. This is where Craft really excels. We've taken what would usually be a really long document that you have to scroll through endlessly and made something easy to navigate and read. Plus it looks amazing. I'm just going to create a link in the share panel up here and add this document to the weekly meeting for next week so everyone can take a look. Make sure to check out our other videos in the Craft for Business series, where we cover everything from setting up your workspace to working collaboratively on projects. Thanks for watching.